Welcome back to Sportsline, everybody. The Wednesday extravaganza continues as we get you set for Sunday's game at Wembley Stadium in London between the Titans and the L.A. Chargers. And if the Titans are going to win this game and snap that two-game losing streak, they're going to need a good game from their offense. You know the deal by now. This team has not scored an offensive touchdown in eight quarters of football. Uh, just four field goals in the loss uh, to Buffalo. And then last week, of course, shut out completely at home, 21-0 to the Baltimore Ravens. Quarterback Marcus Mariota hoping to jumpstart the offense across the pond this Sunday. How much have you been looking forward to this one? Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, it's going to be different for sure. Um, but I've got some family going uh, that's never been as well. So it'll be a really cool experience. What time does the game start in Honolulu? I honestly I have no idea. <laughs> You've, uh, can you give tips uh, to your team? You've been on a lot of um, long flights, I guess, from Hawaii. What, can you give teammates tips on how to handle the flight uh, over? Yeah, just sleep. I mean, that's that's the best way to do it. It's going to help with the jet lag. It's going to help with kind of all that. Um, usually there's no Wi-Fi over the water, um, so they'll have to kind of get used to that. But, yeah, it's just – it. It's a little bit of a travel, but um, if you can sleep, it'll definitely help. You a good plane sleeper? I am. Um, I've got a lot of practice at it, so um, I would say so. You got any snores on this team you need to stay away from? That's a good question. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> any plans uh, to kind of sightsee or do anything on your off time? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, to be honest, uh, you know, I'm going to try to focus and, and um, you know, try to treat it as a business trip, but you know, this is kind of one of those things that happens not very often. So uh, we'll have to see. And, and part of it, too, I got some family going. So if they want to go to check out some of the sites, I'd probably love to join them. How anxious is this team way to play again? Yeah, very anxious. Um, you know, I think when, when you kind of have a couple bad weeks, you just want to get back on the field and kind of flush it. So um, I would say so, yeah, we're definitely anxious. In How confident of, are you guys offensively that you know, the problems you've been having the last couple of weeks are correctable and you can you know, perform better, I guess, going Yeah, forward. yeah, very confident. When it comes down to it, I think the mistakes, the, ex the lack of execution are correctable, um, which is for us, if we can just go out there and just focus on that, focus on being efficient, just the little details in every little play, that I think in itself will help us and hopefully lead to more points. In terms of trying to jumpstart the offense, is one, would you rather see a nice ten-play drive or some or a nice chunk play? However it comes, I really don't care. Uh, however we can get points, however we can, um, you know, help our team out, I'm all for it. Marcus, do you think uh, uh, have you reached the point where the glove is ready to be tossed, or are you still uh, still? Not at the moment, unfortunately. How much did you learn about pocket presence against the Ravens? Just uh, pressure coming from all all angles. Yeah, I definitely would say I learned a lot because at the same time, I think I can help those guys up front, uh, managing the pocket, moving around in it, not, uh, not necessarily getting out so fast. Um, so that being said, it's things that I can work out or work on out here at practice and things that um, hopefully as I continue to grow as a player will, will improve. Somebody, you think is you're staying off social media largely to avoid the headaches that come with hearing all the noise? No, not really. To be honest with you, it's more, uh, I'm a pretty private person, so um, I just don't really want my business kind of out there, um, just to be honest with you. Do you have friends or people who tell you what's being said sometimes that you might not want to know? Yeah, here and there. Um, for the most part, it, it's it's either family members, it's, it's close friends, and I mean, you hear it, you're going to hear it. Uh, it's part of playing the position is part of playing in this league. Uh, with that being said, though, it's opinions that you can't control. All you can do is focus on getting better every day in your process. And when it comes down to it, if you can improve on your process every day, um, those things will eventually go away. Do you generally prefer not to hear it? No, I don't really care. Do you, do you have a chance, Marcus, to, uh, to keep up with Tua much? I'm sure you're very busy, obviously, with this team. But any chance to, uh, to see how he's uh, doing? Yeah, for sure. Very proud. Alongside of Tua, I think McKenzie, as well as Jordan, I, those, I mean, those kids, they're kind of the next generation for Hawaii. And uh, it's, it's very exciting to see how well they've done. I just, it, it's pretty crazy, man. Um, you know, to be honest with you, because I've known some of those guys since they're little kids. And to see them playing 
uh, big time college football, it's it's pretty special, and hopefully they'll continue to have success. Do you, do you feel like you're kind of uh, you know broken a little bit of ground or helped break the ground a little bit yourself in terms of? Well, no, not necessarily. There was there was people in front of me, um, Darnell Arsenal, Timmy Chang. Uh, those there's there's a list that kind of can has gone on and on, and I'm just a part of that list. And I think as more and more of these kids come from Hawaii. Hopefully that will bring more and more college coaches to go home and, and to check some of these guys out because I do think there's a lot of talent there. You talk to, to Tula at all? You guys communicate much? I have not in a while. Um, I mean, he's a busy man. and um, But I know, I, I mean, his family, uh, I have just over the course of time, you know, I've kept in touch with my parents. And um, it sounds like he's doing great. And uh, just, again, we're very excited for him and hopefully he continues it. How much you anticipate the Chargers maybe seeing some of the things Baltimore did successful to get to you on Sunday and maybe trying that uh, this week? Yeah, for sure. I think the blueprint's out there. It's how are we going to be able to manage that and correct it so that that lack of execution doesn't happen again. Going back to your onboarding process into the league, anything memorable or stand out to you when you think of your time with, with Ken Wizard? Yeah, you know what? I just – I appreciate the fact that he, alongside of uh, Rustin, who was here, they took a chance on me. Um, you know, I was kind of that spread quarterback that didn't really fit the, the prototypical NFL player or quarterback, um, and they gave me a chance. So uh, I'm forever grateful. Um, I think he knows that, and I look forward to seeing him. You mentioned the blueprint that's out there right now. What is it going to take for you know from your perspective and your position to try to help combat that and, and avoid uh, sacks again? Well, it starts on first and second down. If we can be efficient, create third and manageable, you're not getting into all these exotic pressures, I think that'll definitely help. You talked to us a couple of weeks ago about not overthinking things and how that can affect your play. How do you think you've managed that so far? I would say it's gone fairly well. With that being said, though, I think you know, you're know you going to play these defenses week in and week out that are going to show you multiple things, that are going to do different things. So it's being able to slow the game down from that sense. And um, I think I've gotten better at it. it it's an ongoing thing. Um, last week was a part of that process. And I think as I continue forward, um, I'll just learn from it. you sense any frustration from either yourself, teammates, coaches, just by what's happened offensively the last couple of weeks? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, there's. There's no hiding it. I mean, when you're not scoring touchdowns, especially the last couple of weeks, um, there is a sense of frustration. But at the same time, it, it's good because it's it's kind of pushing the, the envelope. It's creating a sense of urgency. You don't want guys just to be walking around complacent, um, especially when you haven't done a whole lot on offense. I think that has allowed us to have practice a little bit more intense, has, has created um, kind of a, an atmosphere where you want to get better, and I think that's good. How do you balance that sense of urgency and intensity without having the guys out there pressing too much? Yeah, uh, you, you said it best. It's, it's finding the happy medium. When it comes down to it, it's just making plays. And when you're out here in practice, it's getting comfortable with the game plan, making sure that everybody just knows the little details. And then from there, it's just the process of just getting better every day so that when it hits Sunday, you're good to go. Titans quarterback Marcus Mariota speaking to the media today, getting ready for Sunday's game in London against the L.A. Chargers. Stay with us. More coming up right after this.